This is a companion video to my other one about oxygen sensors. Uh, I'm going to set up my scan tool here. Uh, here I'm using Forescan uh, software, which is a Ford Master specific app, which is talking to a cheapish Bluetooth OBD2 tool. Uh, and I'm going to monitor coolant temperature as engine temp is important. And I'm going to monitor the O2 sensor. Uh, this engine is a straight four, so there's only one bank. And to be clear, we're talking only about the upstream sensor. Uh, and also we'll monitor the engine rev so that we can see what the throttle is doing. Now the engine is stone cold at this point, by the way, uh, in both demos. So all I'm doing is starting the engine, waiting for the O2 sensor to start generating voltage as, as it warms itself up and then driving. So I'm going, uh, I'm doing the same run of driving in both cases here. And these videos are basically synced up. Uh, in similar circumstances, the only difference is the old and new O2 sensor. And the point of this video is twofold. Uh, firstly, to provide a comparison between my old sensor, which has about 150,000 kilometers on it, uh, but had by no means failed yet, uh, and the new one. And the difference is uh, quite subtle, uh, very subtle in fact. And as you watch, you'll see that the old sensor oscillates up and down almost as fast as the new one, but uh, in some cases not quite. Uh, and that its amplitude is almost as wide as the new one, but in some cases not quite. And particularly that it um, uh, sometimes reads a bit leaner than the new one uh, in the same circumstances. And that's typical of an aged O2 sensor. And um, while the engine was more or less happy before, replacing it should improve the fuel economy at the very least. Uh, by the way, I admit it's very hard to see the speed of the oscillations on this uh, tool. Uh, professionals would use a voltage oscilloscope, which would make it much easier. Um, and you would be looking for a difference in the waveform frequency of only about 10 or 20% to make a substantial difference to fuel economy. Uh, also, I wanted to put out there a demo of a new O2 sensor working correctly, never mind the old one, uh, just so that people can see what they look like, um, you know, when they're working properly, because I actually found it hard to find uh, real-time examples when I was looking myself. Um, so if you're in that category, then just ignore the top video here and just pay attention to the bottom one. Okay, I'll shut up now, other than to say uh, the engine gets up to temp in probably you know, the second half of the video and uh, there's some high wire driving there too so um, skip through the video if you uh, want you don't need to watch it from beginning to end um, and finally make sure to check out my uh, proper O2 sensor video where I talk about O2 sensors because that's where the real info is have fun